guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Raina, aka Raina king if you're new here welcome to the family if you've been here before welcome thanks for tuning in and thanks for supporting me today i have a special guest my name is Khadija, aka kati banks on instagram and all social media platforms so again to the video, just want to say go ahead and hit the subscribe button, share, and also follow us on Instagram to get more updates about what's new and what's going on. As you guys can tell from the title, today we're going to be talking about how to regain your confidence or how to be how to be confident as a dark-skinned woman. And I know a lot of you are like, why so specific? Well, one of my videos went viral and in the comments i got the chance to get a lot of feedback from other women who like other dark-skinned women and i noticed a pattern like yes a lot of them were you know confident in themselves a lot of them love their skin but i did see a few comments um with them talking about feeling less than because of their skin tones or their skin tones hindering them from, or them thinking their skin tone is gonna hinder them from doing things that they actually wanna do. And it didn't sit right with me. I just don't believe that you should hold yourself back because of your skin. But at the same time, I get it. Society and the critique that we get on a daily basis can cause a lot of people to have low self-esteem unconsciously. And also the representation that we do get on TV, the representation that we do get sometimes, it's not really the best. And so a lot of, it leaves a lot of girls feeling like the bottom of the barrel. And as you can see, we're here to tell you guys that is not the case. Not the case. That is not the case. Don't get me wrong, Khadija. I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Khadija and I have had our own ups and downs and our own difficulties, or we've had our own journey getting to where we can like proudly sit down and say we're confident women, right. confident in our skin, confident in who we are. But it definitely took a lot of reset, mindset shift. And that's what we're going to be talking to you about today. When I started my, I guess, my confidence journey, it really was a journey. Um, I had this big breakthrough when I was 18, and that was also around the time that I met her. And seeing other, seeing her, another dark-skinned girl, definitely helped. Um, just being around other women who look exact, who look exactly like me, I think, helped me with my confidence. Because I'm like, okay. Because it wasn't something you've seen around a lot. Exactly. So having someone who looked like me definitely helped me um, push through with my insecurity because I'm like, oh, she, she's and like just I feel like talking about our insecurities and talking about what we went through also kind of helped. Yeah, it strengthened how our mindset and how we look at ourselves because we kind of just took from each other to uplift from uplift each other you know what i'm saying so yeah we had each other to bounce off of right. we had each other to confide in when we're going through stuff and a lot of girls don't have that so my advice or I, what i would say is find other girls who are like you that's one. go that's one um surround yourself with females who you know you can connect with as far as in being dark skin i'm not saying that don't have like like your friends or other race but relate to people but relate who look like you. who look like you exactly. It's everyone has Instagram. Everybody. Okay, everyone, everybody has Instagram. But following pages that uplifted dark skin yeah. women yeah. help because there was another side of Instagram that I tapped into that was just like constant bashing. I'm talking 2014. Remember, team light skin, team mm -hmm. dark skin, yeah. team this. And very weird times. Very, very weird Strange. times. Um, I think also that contributed to a lot of insecurity in me because I was only, or I was following pages um, that glorified much. other women, and we're really me. pushing your your look out there as much. So you're kind of just seeing a whole bunch of people that don't look like you and it kind of can discourage you. So social media is a, is a big factor in mm -hmm. being able to find confidence because you have to watch. I mean, what's the saying they say? Like, whatever you take in into your, like whatever news, social media, things you read or anything that you take in will directly affect you outside of yes. your life. So 
I feel like purposefully going out of your way to follow black girl pages, follow dark skin women pages, follow even if we're just talking about body types, looks, curvy girls, things like that, it'll definitely help you boost your confidence. And I feel like once you see more of that on your timeline, you're gonna you're gonna less be prone to like wanting to be like what society's pushing out to us. Yeah. So pretty much tap into pages where you're celebrated. Yes. Go to where you're celebrated. celebrated also. Literally. Yeah. Like literally. <laughs> like stop putting your let me get I'm about to get ratchet. No. But stop like this is one thing I want us as dark skinned women to understand. If we're putting ourselves in situations where we're not going to be embraced, that's something that we we need to take accountability for literally because if you're constantly putting yourself around people that you know for one are colorist have even colorist ways they may not be completely colorist but they're always dimming your light when you're around them that's a you thing that yeah, you so. need to fix and you need to start surrounding yourself with people who are going to embrace you like a lot of my friends embrace me they push me they compliment me all the time and i'm not saying you need to be around people that need to gas your head so before y'all get in the comments like oh y'all want yes men or no. people to gas you no we want genuine people that see us mm -hmm. that's like the simplest statement i can give you like genuine people that that see you surround yourself around people that see your beauty understand your worth and i promise you like the way your outlook on yourself is going to completely change because if you're getting positivity all around you why would you feel negative within yourself? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yes. Another thing that I was doing during my self-confidence journey was affirmations. Your words can speak life and death. Pretty much what it's saying is the tongue is powerful. What you say about yourself can manifest in reality. Mm -hmm. So affirming positive words to, about yourself or to yourself definitely helps what i would what i would do i had a journal and literally every single day i write in my journal i have my affirmations i am beautiful i am worthy i stand out i am intelligent i am smart just words that uplift me positive words that make me feel good a lot of times dark-skinned women we tend to associate or tag our, or attach ourselves to names and identify ourselves yeah. as such and that's very detri detrimental i like sometimes i would even unconsciously just tell myself yeah i'm ugly <laughs> i'm ugly Ooh, it don't even feel right saying it right now because just like mm, girl what, what? <laughs> <laughs> not me or just you but know, back in that mindset when you were still trying to find yourself those were was, words that you were putting out there yeah those are words that it was I, it was so i felt like it was part of my identity almost and it had no choice but to manifest in reality so people i kept attracting you that people, way exactly i kept attracting people who would constantly remind me how unattractive i was so after to that to the right <laughs> so um my Pretty much positive self-talk helped me and just affirming, looking in the mirror, telling myself that I was worthy, telling myself that I was beautiful. Putting that shit on. <laughs> telling my, myself that my skin stands out and my skin is beautiful, my skin glows, my skin is radiant. Definitely helped boost my confidence. In the beginning, it's easier said than done. In the beginning, you feel like you're lying to yourself and honestly, fake it till you make it. You are lying to yourself because you don't you're not in that you don't even believe it yet yes, but, but you with time you literally see yourself go, like words are powerful your face literally would change in front of your eyes i don't right. know how to describe it but you start seeing more the, of your beauty more more of your beauty once yes. you start literally speaking life onto yourself literally it'll manifest in real time, real time. When you're saying comments like well i'm ugly or oh, my skin's too dark or I, I feel like this today blah 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 blah. well other people are going to perceive that too exactly. you tell yourself oh i feel like i look beautiful today wow this feature is popping today or my skin looks real smooth and people are going to see it themselves you don't even have to say it. you already told yourself this right so you're content with that but when you go out there people are going to recognize that and also mimic you know mimic what you're saying echo it back to you without you even having to try 
you know what I mean? Um, like she said, your words are sh extremely, extremely important, like powerful, powerful. Like yeah. just watch what you say about yourself. Exactly. Another thing too is pick out those things about yourself that you think is beautiful. So back then, what I would do is I really like my eyes, like the shape of my eyes, and I also liked my lips. So I would just focus on those two. Um, just kept telling myself, ooh, my eyes look beautiful today. My lips look good today. Um, I just kept focusing on those things that I actually appreciated about myself. That's just step one. And as time goes by, you're gonna pick, you're gonna start seeing or noticing other things about yourself that, that you, like. you like or that you find attractive. Because maybe and stuff that you haven't noticed, maybe it takes, maybe it took you having to nitpick certain things that you like about yourself for you to see your overall beauty. Right. That's what I'm getting from what you're saying. Because I feel like for even me myself, like. I feel like me, what I thought was beautiful about my face, I just, I like my lips too. I liked my facial structure. Um, Cause I used to be really into picking with my eyes. Cause I, I can have a lazy eye sometimes. So that was something that I would like, really like always be paying attention to. Like I'm talking about, I went out my way to fucking always get, I always got a little side part so you can cover my eye. And then I just started not giving a fuck. <laughs> yeah, but cause it's like, why focus on the things that you don't like? Fuck focus on the stuff that you do like and everything else with will fall time place. exactly with time everything falls into place in the sense that with time you wouldn't even notice that oh my eye look like this, this or yeah. my skin looks too dark like everything falls into place and i feel like it plays it plays a, it's, it goes hand in hand with the whole affirmation and self positive talk it's prayer if you're a Christian, prayer definitely helped. If you're religious, if you're spiritual, religious or spiritual, or spiritual but like prayer. Talking to somebody higher up or looking for guidance for somebody higher up is also a good way to like find some confidence within yourself because you know I don't want to get down. Into yeah. Not so just spiritual. prayer. Yeah. yeah. So just pray. If you're a Christian, just pray to God that He helps you on your journey your confidence journey he provides you with the right resources the right people bring put you in the right place in the right time just help you doing your journey yeah that's what i would say putting yourself out there i mean we said this in the last video the video that she said that went viral but yeah so we, like it's, it's a step we lightly tapped into that yeah so out there. don't feel like confidence is something that you would that you get immediately it's it's a journey it's a journey worth going through because you discover things about yourself that you wouldn't have over otherwise discovered if you didn't go through that journey it takes time it takes effort and i know that i said do the positive talk and affirmations maybe one day the positive talk and the affirmation just doesn't work that's okay don't be too hard on yourself it, it takes time literally um it's it also not it's also years. okay to also Ask for feedback, um, like the one for the, uh, obviously um, to the ones closest to you to ask them. Like if you're feeling down that day and not feeling as confident, you know, ask your friend. Go to a look for guidance to your friends. Yeah. You know, like be like go to someone you can comfortably talk to about that. That right. in my case, it was my mom. She definitely played a huge role during that time. And it, it doesn't have to be your mom, it could just be any trusted adult, mentor, somebody that you can pretty much confide in when you're not feeling your best. Even your own friends. Even your own friends. Friends who definitely have your back. Go to them. But always go to somebody that has a, a good amount of knowledge mm -hmm. and that is that you know is not as um, stuck in their ways or one track minded because you don't want to go and you know be giving giving yourself or confiding in someone that doesn't necessarily see things the way you see it so speaking to someone who has an open mind can you know yeah. help you feel better because they actually understand your perspective understand what you're going through and it, it's, espe it's especially better when you go to somebody that looks just like you you know dark skin black whatever the case because you know that they probably went through the same struggle that you went through or they can understand you or relate to you. Yeah. 
But anyways, guys, I will be Uh, oh, I want to just add this in there, right? Because another thing with confidence, um, taking up opportunities. I feel like if we're presented with opportunities, whether that be modeling, stuff like what we're doing, you know, podcast, video, uh, putting yourself on YouTube, uh, taking pictures of yourself, I feel like that'll also help you boost your confidence. Taking pictures of yourself, even when you think they don't look good, trust me, take those pictures. Because you, you're you going to look today. back one day and see how far you've come. And it's going to be the best feeling ever. And also, taking pictures even though you feel like they don't look good. And telling yourself you feel well, you, well, look, you look photogenic. Or you are photogenic well, and you look good. Man, like, it's... And I'm saying all of this because, like, those are things I've actually done. we have literally and implemented this into our everyday, this our everyday life. And it's... It's work. It's work. <laughs> I mean, look how far she's come. Look how far I've come, and we've come a long. Man, I day. wish we could insert Wait. like our throwback pictures. No, oh, please don't embarrass me. Please, one. She be ready to be embarrassed talking about no. it's gross. No, it is. Girl, but I mean, Let yeah, she, she'll probably insert some videos. I mean, some, some videos, pictures, some pictures in there from like how we started. I mean, we've always been people that we wanted to invest in ourselves, but it's literally, a, it took a long time to get to where the fuck we're at right now. And also, if you're younger, don't even feel bad because with time, you're still young, you're still growing, you're gonna get your features with time. So mm -hmm. don't feel like that the way you come. are now is going, you're stuck like this forever. Not forever. But now, I don't think, I looked like this when I was younger, obviously, because I had a whole nother face. Um, even though I, still, I feel like I look good, <laughs> I just didn't see it. But yeah, with time, the more you, when you age, your features are gonna come, and and literally you just make yourself look good. Like yeah, so tell yourself, yourself, invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Go buy the best makeup. Watch girls who know how to do their makeup. Not even dress up good. Like when you dress good, you, you feel, feel good. good. Okay. Yes. When you try to make yourself look good. You're going to feel good. Do your hair. Even if you don't know how to do makeup. It's not even all about makeup. It's just skin. Taking care of your skin. Making sure. Chocolate skin might be by the way. I was just about to say. <laughs> I was literally about to say like. Taking care, take of, your care of your skin. Melanin is supreme. Wear when sunscreen. You use, when you use the right ingredients. Trust me. Your skin literally glows from inside out. Literally. Which by the way. Shout out to. This in my Rhina, all natural products make for anyone, but mostly dedicated to my melanin girls. Um, for you guys to embrace your skin and um, make your skin radiant and glowy with our products. Go check it out. Check it out. I hope this video helped you guys. Let us know in the comments if any of these tips have helped you guys or, or, will, or if we can try. give you more tips because this is just, we didn't even tip, hit the tip of the iceberg. This is just a briefing, you know, just tapping into a little bit of what we said in the last video, you know, just to give you guys a little bit more depth. But um, if you guys love the content and want more and want more tips and advice, definitely leave those comments. Reach out to Re, reach out to me. Either way, we are here to give you guys advice, help you guys feel better on your journey into loving yourself, loving your dark skin, loving your black skin, being beautiful, you know, being like beautiful. This, this is what we're here for. So 100% feel free to freaking Good reach job. out. And also, if you want more content like this, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and follow us on this journey as we create this family of beautiful black women who love and elevate each other. I will see you guys in our next video. See ya! And then you should do something with like going out like cutting. I mean, that's for the vlogs. <laughs>